I've been very touched by the honesty and depth and trust that people have put into the workshops. I think that they've been incredibly open and um, you know, revealing really strong emotional truths about their lives. So that's been an honor to sort of experience that. The coming together of so many different uh, people, different projects, and actually having a, a common purpose. I guess we're living in a time that feels very threatening for a lot of us. And yet when I'm here, I just feel so much optimism. I really do. And uh, as the mother of a teenager and being very dedicated to the future, um, it really nourishes me to be in a place like this. There's been an extraordinary experience of, of real depth and connection with, um, with complete strangers, which is, is a profound and deeply um, moving. The funding that we received from Emergence Foundation back in um, late summer of 2021 um, enabled an empowered sister system to be able to move a set of emotion and thought and feeling into a program called Honour Thyself and that program enabled us to take a group of black and brown girls on a year-long journey to help them to first like themselves, to love themselves, to be able to defend themselves and therefore to honour themselves. With the grant we had, we had the possibility to design this whole program that we call the Youth Climate Learning Journey for resilience and regeneration. In short, we call it Flourish, because I think that's the idea. Like we want young people to feel they can still flourish. I don't think our project would exist without the backing of the Emergence Foundation and the courage it's taken them to support us in that work and, and, and how hands-off they've been as well. So, you know, go and be innovative has been super special.